Hey Adalo Makers, today we're going to go over how to use Twilio to send some SMS messages from our app. Um, and you can't do this directly uh, between uh, Adalo and Twilio. You will need some sort of connector uh, to make this happen. And this is mainly because Adalo doesn't yet support basic authentication uh, for custom actions. Um, but uh, we can use something like Xano or Zapier or Make or any of these other automation tools to kind of make this happen. So in this instance, though, I'm actually going to be using Xano uh, because if you uh, have a team or business plan with Adalo, you can actually get uh, the Xano uh, integration as well. So uh, and this is makes it really easy to to set up with Twilio. And we'll look at that in just a second. All right. So uh, when you first create an account with Twilio, you'll probably end up on a screen similar to this. Um, and it'll prompt you to actually get a Twilio phone number. Um, and if and if you don't see this for some reason, you can always go in here to phone numbers and then manage. And you can actually, you know, uh, buy a phone number that way as well. All right. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and click get a U.S. Uh, toll-free number here. And it says that I've got a free trial phone number. And this is the kind of number that I'm going to be using here. And the, uh, the only other two things that I need here are just my account SID and my auth token. And these are what I'm going to be using to plug into Xano. So I'm going to go over here to Xano. I've already got an instance created. If you don't know about Xano or how to set it up or anything like that, I would highly uh, recommend checking out some Xano videos uh, first uh, to get familiar with it. Um, but in this instance, I'm going to click on this and we're going to go in here and enable some. Uh, I've just got this. Uh, uh, let's go to this webinar demo thing here. Um, I've got, uh, I don't have anything connected to this yet, uh, but we're really only going to be using one feature of this. So I'm going to go over here to this marketplace tab and we're going to go to this, uh, this little messaging tab here. And you can see that there are some pre-built kind of integrations that Xano offers. And one of them is this Twilio SMS functionality. So I'm going to click on this. And I will actually click on install extension. You may see something like get extension or something like that. But you'll notice that it includes one API endpoint. And the API endpoint that's uh, included is to validate that Twilio is working properly. But this function here, this is the one that we're actually going to be using to send the SMS text message itself. Um, and that's what we're going to need. All right. Um, and then there's three environment variables here. So this is the account ID, the number that we're sending from, and the auth token. And this, these should look familiar because they are the exact same things that we have right here, which is pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click Install Extension. I'll click Install down on the bottom right here. Um, they do have a video walkthrough for how to set this up. highly recommend checking that out as well uh, if, you've, if you've not check that out already. But once you have this installed, you can actually uh, refresh the page um, and you will see something like this configure right here. Um, and you can also get to this from the settings over here as well if you click on that. Um, but I'm just going to click on configure here and you'll see that right here I can plug in my uh, Twilio uh, SID. So I'm just going to copy this. Twilio provides us a nice little kind of copy button here. The from number. So I'm going to copy this. Paste that in there. The Twilio auth token, we will copy that. And we'll paste that right in there like that. We'll click update. And we've got the extension configured. All right. So there's only one other thing that we need to do to be able to send SMS messages from this number. Um, and that is to go into our API. And you can see that we've got one uh, API endpoint here already. But what I really need to do is create an endpoint that makes use of the function that we've just made or that was added to our account, which is this Twilio send SMS, right? So um, I'm going to go back to my API here. Um, you can add it to this, uh, to this Twilio, uh, this Twilio one if you like, but I'm just going to create a new API uh, group and call it uh, external, external API calls. All right. And the next thing I want to do is just add an API endpoint. And I'm just going to do a, uh, a CRUD database operation. Or actually, let's start from scratch, actually. I think that's probably better. And then we're going to use a, a post here. And we're going to call this uh, send 
Twilio SMS. The authentication is disabled, um, but you can certainly enable this if you want to require someone to be logged in to use this endpoint. All right, oops, let's put in some, I forgot. Let's put in some dashes here. All right, um, uh, the endpoints that we're gonna need uh, are the message text, um, but let's go ahead and add the function first. So I'm gonna click on this right here, and we're going to go to our utility functions. There we go, I'm sorry, it's uh, custom functions, yeah. Custom functions right here. We're gonna click on Twilio send SMS. And you can see that there are two, two things here, the text that needs to be sent, or I'm sorry, the number that needs to be sent to, and the text body, all right? And you'll notice that both of these are actually text properties. They're both text fields. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here to inputs. I'm gonna create two text. Uh, one of them is gonna be called two number. Um, it is gonna be required, right? Because we have to have a number to be able to send to. Um, it's not nullable, right? And it has public uh, access. It's public, publicly accessible, right? So we'll save that one, and then I'm going to add another one here, a text one called message text. And again, this is required. It's not nullable. Same thing kind of there, all right? Um, and this function stack here, what we're going to do is I'm going to click in here into this, uh, into this, oops, let's go back. Let's go back to our API here. That's the wrong one too. External API calls. There we go. So I'm going to go uh, into here, and when I click on this, I'm going to set what this number is. And I can set it as whatever the input is uh, that I received here. So this is going to be the two number. The body is going to be the message text, right? And I need to kind of remember these because these are going to be the parameters I'm going to use in my custom action that I send from Adalo, all right? So I'll go ahead and save that. And the last thing that I want to do here is I do want to return kind of as self. Um, if, if I leave this as self, then it's just going to return uh, whatever Twilio returns, right? So if it's successful, it's just going to kind of pass that function on to Adalo. Um, and I think that's fine. If you want to build a custom response here, you can certainly do that. Um, but I think whatever Twilio, you know, returns is just fine, all right? So I'm going to hit publish here. Publish. You can add a more clarifying note there than I did. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and run and debug this and just check our uh, check our info here. So I'm going to send this to myself. This does need to be a legitimate number here. All right, and the message text is going to be, of course, "Hello World." We will run this. All right, so it says success. The real thing is going to be, was it successful? And yes, it says, I got, I got a text message that says, sent from your Twilio trial account. Hello world, right? And when you upgrade your Twilio account, you can uh, take off that message that says, you know, uh, from your Twilio trial account, right? Um, you'll have to purchase a number to be able to remove that. Um, but again, this is returning null as a success, um, but again, if you wanted to return something specific in this custom action, you could do that, all right? So this portion of it is done. The Xano side of things uh, is all set up. Now let's hop over into Adalo. Before I even, I, I'm not even gonna mess with this. We're just gonna, for the sake of time, we're just gonna place this on, a, on another button here. All right, so let's do this, send SMS. And let's go down here to click actions. We will add a custom action. This is going to be a new custom action. And this is going to be send Twilio SMS. It will be a create. We'll hit next. And this is where uh, we need to get some information about that API endpoint that we just made. All right. Um, we can just copy the endpoint URL up here in the top left. So I'm going to click copy there. I'm literally just going to paste it right here, right? And the method is going to be a post. Um, it does not require any authentication, right? Uh, but it does require uh, some inputs. And so we've got our inputs here. Let's go ahead and create the one that we made. 
Um, so we have a two number. And again, I'm going to use my test, my, te my, my personal phone number here uh, so that we can test effectively. And then the text, this is going to be the message text. And this one's going to be hello, hello world again, right? And the next thing that I need to do here is just put in these properties. And this is really easy to do in this in the body section here. If I go over to my run and debug here, you can see that it's already got this made for me, which is pretty cool. All right, so I'm just going to copy this. I'll go back over to Adalo, and I'll paste that right in there. And then, of course, I want to replace these values with the actual inputs that we just made. So this two number, and, of course, I don't want it to be static, hello world. I want this to actually be the message text input here. All right, don't forget your quotes on the outside of that. All right, so we've got this all set up. Let's go ahead and run a test request. It's going to reach out, ping that Xano endpoint. Xano is going to then reach out to Twilio and send the text message, and then we get the response back from Xano saying it was successful, right? So that's our custom action there. And then you can see that we've got two inputs here, one for who the number is going to and the message text that needs to be included. And you can fill these in with any sort of form input that, that you would like uh, from the from your, uh, your Adalo app there, all right? So that's how you can quickly and easily use Xano and Twilio together along with Adalo to send SMS messages directly from your Adalo app.